Hey guys, Alex here from Alexified, and today I just want to do a quick update on the latest firmware for the S20 series Exynos version. This latest build is the ATE6, which improved the performance of the camera specifically for the ongoing autofocus issue, and also improved the security of the device. This firmware also introduces a new camera functionality called the close-up zoom on the S20 Ultra. So this mode gets automatically triggered whenever you are trying to take a picture of a very close object. And since this phone doesn't have a dedicated macro lens, it might be helpful for some people, but I think it is an okay feature. I'll show you guys the demo as well in the video, so please stick around until the end. So let's get started. So here's the footage that I took. The S20 Ultra is on the left and the iPhone X will be on the right. This is just for the comparison's sake. So as you guys can see in the footage itself, uh, I don't think the autofocus issue is completely fixed. And again, I do not think it can perform as well as the iPhone X. I do not think that the S20 Ultra can focus properly, especially in the video department. And as you guys can see, the iPhone X is much more smoother and the S20 Ultra is kind of struggle. So as you can see that as I'm coming in closer to the subject, you can see there, it says use close-up zoom. So what it is, is just the new functionality for the S20 Ultra specifically. It's kind of like having a macro lens, even though this phone doesn't have the dedicated macro lens. So, you know, once you're done with the close-up zoom, it still will kind of tell you to like move further away from the object to make it more clear, as you can see. Now personally, do I find this new feature useful? Not really, because like, to me like a macro lens is like when you put a camera close to the subject, it will just autofocus and everything is done. Unlike this one, this one is like once you get close to it, you close up zoom to it, then you have to back away. So it's kind of like defeat the purpose of having the macro function at the first place. But it might be useful for some people. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Here's where I see another improvement. The fingerprint animation has been bugging me since day one. Now it's much smoother, but apparently it's not very center. It's kind of moved a little bit, but hey, this is a good start. And that is all for the latest update for the S20 series Exynos variants. Thanks for watching until the end. And remember guys, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Cheers!